Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 70, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. If you were watching on the last episode or earlier in the live stream, Thursdays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, uh, <clears throat> you will know that we started helping this little guy over here build a bridge. And we found out the hard way that you got to talk to him and accept the quest to check on the bridge builder before you can actually go and check on the bridge builder. That's kind of one of the things that I'm not... I like. I have mixed opinions about the bonus content. Um, let, let me try to walk back up the mountain again. Again. Uh, and see if I can walk and talk at the same time. I have kind of mixed opinions about the... Uh, bonus material so far. On the one hand, it is really nice to have the bonus material. I am very happy to have some bonus material and more things to do and new things to do. Uh, that That is always appealing. Uh, I like that it gives you a way to get some more gear, some better gear, some more money. More money is always nice. I never had somebody, I've never heard somebody look at a character and go, man, my character just has too much money. Uh, never happened. Uh, okay, I won't say never. I'm sure somebody is going to write down in the comments that they, they had more than enough money and bully for you. I, I'll, I'll take whatever you don't want. Um, so th there's those benefits to to the bonus material. And the bonus XP, because this gets us, you know, we're now level 58, where we would have been fighting Lavos at 55, 56. That's always nice. Magus is almost caught up to everybody else. Uh, that is one of the nice things about having him in the party. I might actually uh, start swapping Frog out for a couple other people just to get them uh, a little more XP a little bit quicker. Since the party seems to be spanning 53, 54, 55. Because the, these guys on the bench do get XP. They just get it at a reduced rate. I forget what the percentage is. I think it's they get 75% of the XP earned. So they're not trailing that far behind, but they are uh, trailing behind a little bit. Um, it, that's to encourage you to rotate them in and out as you, as you go. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me go ahead and swap in Robo for Frog just, uh, just so we can get him up a little bit more. And then I'll rotate in Marley and Luca. But I think Robo's further behind the Marley and Lucas, so we'll uh, we'll do that. And I'll keep Magus in there, mostly because I'm trying to get him caught up a little bit more. And having somebody with some really good shadow magic is always nice, too. Alright. Plus, I think this gives me a couple more area options for some of those other guys. Oh, that's right. You guys. Oh, how convenient. Ride the lightning, baby. Hmm. And in my quest for more lightning-related song titles to use when I zap the ever-living snot out of the enemies. Uh, so we got Ride the Lightning, Thunderstruck, and I forgot about ACDC's High Voltage Rock and Roll. Uh... If I had a singing voice worth using on stream, I would regale you with a couple of choruses, but um, I I'm too kind to do that to you. So, uh, <laughs> hum it along to yourself, and if you're not familiar, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the video should be fairly fr family friendly. Uh, it is ACDC, so that is something you gotta remember too, you know, uh, it's not always a given. Has that rock always been blue? I think that has always been a bad guy. Uh, oh, that's right. He's probably worth mad XP if I remember right. That's okay. We're trying to get these things done on a little bit better schedule. So um, let's just queue up the attacks because these guys were immune to me. Uh, magic, and I forgot that I was going to try to do the multi-attack. Tex. Especially since Robo's got one too. Why, why did I... How did I... For, no, maybe I just need more coffee. 
Not too much more. I still got work in the morning. <laughs> As I do it again. Oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> if you if you ever feel absent-minded, just remember, it could be me. Unless you're so absent-minded that you don't remember that it could be me. Then you're about where I'm at. All right. Why, hello, good sir. You need something? I help you. I be your friend. Have you encountered a man attempting to construct a bridge upon this mountain? I see him. He build bridge alone, just past here. There is a high probability that the man you saw is who we seek. Will you allow us to pass? Okay. I wonder if it's always the second person that ends up talking to him during that. That'd be something worth uh, checking out a new game plus. I'll probably have to write that down. Okay. That's all he's going to do is move out of the way for us. Um, okay. Creepy green cave is a little creepy. Brave, brave heroes, help! <laughs> he's seriously hanging on by his teeth. My thanks. I fear I'd not have survived much longer. I've been toiling away at this bridge, but the work takes a good deal out of a man. Seems I grew a tad careless and lost my footing. If only I'd someone with more brawn to assist me. It'll be some time before I finish at this rate. Why not use a new? They've strength and stamina enough. You have an idea? Someone who could help? My pardons, but it would be most gracious of you if you could inquire on my behalf. Why, that's almost like a hint. What new do we know that is our friend that would be willing to help work? Hmm. We have a request for you. Would you be willing to assist the in the construction of a bridge? Yes, I try. I want to help you. This... This is the assistant of whom you spoke? Yes, it is. His strength is far greater than it appears. Please exercise caution. I I see. Well, I suppose if you say so. Yet all right. I strong. Well then, haste makes waste. First things first. Da, 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 da. You aren't so bad at all. No, I'm not bad at all. All right, next we need to. What's the matter, new? Hungry, can't move, need food. Oh dear, this is a problem. Please, I beg you, bring this poor new something to eat. Why do we not ask that villager if there is somewhere we might obtain food? Oh, you know where... <laughs> Yes, I know where we might be able to obtain food. In the village. Down the mountain. Hey, Robo. You wouldn't happen to have a uh, step counter and all that gear you carry along, would you? I hear we're supposed to do 10,000 steps a day. I think we're going to get it on this quest. Alright, let's try... Um, Robo Tackle. Oh, no, that only does one at a time. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Looks like we don't have an option. I thought we had a uh, multi-tech that would hit him. Well, that slash probably would have hit uh, the middle guy and the guy at the end, now that I think about it, but... That might not be a problem anymore either. And the single text probably would have taken them out faster so we're not doubling up on these guys. Lessons learned. Be gold. I like gold. Up and down. 
and round and round. Yeah, and that is... So, I, I like... Uh, I like having the new content and the new side quests, but... I don't like the small space you're doing all this stuff in and the way you end up going up and down the same few areas over and over again or that you can't start a quest without first talking to a guy and getting it accepted first you know you gotta sit there and like well I know a guy who knows a guy who's looking for someone to do a thing and uh yeah, that that part gets old a little bit quick too, especially when the next step's pretty obvious. I mean, dude went up to go build a bridge. You would naturally assume that you could go check on him. Who who would have thought that you had to talk to somebody to trigger the quest to go talk to the guy? That you know, or. I like the idea that you're helping them build the bridge and all, but to stop and hike down the mountain on a food quest? And there's not even that much story to it. At least when you were doing the food quest over at the bridge in 600 AD, you were learning about the knights and the, how the knight's brother runs the kitchen, and there, there was at least a little more, um, a little more lore behind the fetch quest. Th this is, this is literally just uh, go back to the village and fetch fetch dude some food not you're visiting the front line the soldiers are starving if you talk to the night captain's brother he might be able to help you know <laughs> especially since a lot of that stuff is not expressly stated all right. Oh dear, he's hungry? Well then, will you give him this for me? Obtained a hearty lunch. That fellow's been around for a very long time. I don't know if my cooking will be anything like what he's used to, but I hope he enjoys it. I don't know. I know I am a fan of a very hearty lunch. Alright, line up for the battle. Oh. Come on, man. There we go. Well, getting the extra XP is always nice. And back up the mountain we go. Up and down and all around. Yeah, so it's, you know. Up the ladder. Th this, this is the part that just kind of makes it a little... Eh. I mean, I'm not opposed to grinding. I've done some grindy stuff. You... you what you didn't see between a few episodes there was all the time spent hunting news in the in the forest to grind up the tech points and that kind of thing. Um, so it's not like it's not like I have an objection to doing repetitive stuff, just so long as it's clear that it's repetitive because I want to do the repetitive thing, as opposed to being repetitive for the sake of being repetitive or for the sake of padding out the content. Um, having something a little more involved in the side quest would, would have been would have been nice. But again, I don't want to sound completely and utterly down on it. I am happy for the bonus content. Um, and I like that there is this idea of a lost sanctum that the Reptites still live in to this day. Um, I hate that the gate looks like a gate but I don't know if that was a memory limitation on the DS where this uh, appeared. And even though phones are, are a lot beefier than the SNES was uh, at the time. Uh, 
There we go. Let's see if we can't finish the, these guys a little bit quicker this way. Oh. Oh, interesting. So the wind slash did nothing to him. But the tackle did. Well, that's good to know. Yep, there we go. And the Robo Tackle should finish off the last guy. Well, that's good to know. Now I wonder if the Falcon Strike would have actually done anything or not. And we'll find out when I rotate Ayla in. Because I have a funny feeling we're still going to be climbing up and down the mountains. I mean, here we are in the second go-round of building a bridge. And even this is taking uh, longer than I expected. I did not expect this to be two episodes worth of content, even with the mess up in the middle there. Oh, you've brought him food. Thank you ever so much. Although I was just kind of standing there frozen at the side of the bridge. Like, oil can. Mmm, tastes good. A reptite in the village worked very hard to make that for you. It's no wonder it tastes so good. I don't know what that, uh... Okay. Oh, she made this? I feel strong now. I work hard again. Can I ask favor? I get hungry. I can't work. I want you to bring me food. Old monster have good food. Long, long time ago. Sweet yellow thing. I like that food. More food, correct? Understood. I'll watch over this new. Please hurry back if you can. Alright, so guess what that means. <laughs> Beyond back down the mountain again. Again. Uh, that, that means that we actually have to go back to the past because the food he's remembering are bananas that are only available in the, uh, the prehistory where the other gate is. Yeah, I really wish there was a way around these guys. I like the grind. I like the XP, but, uh, all right, let's try So, Okay. So they're not close enough. Alright, let's just uh, see if that doubles them down real quick. And Kind of wish old Magus had a uh, regular attack that wasn't magic. That doesn't seem to be his bag, so... And some regular attacks ought to finish this off quick. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Um, health does seem to be an issue, though. So let's go heal beam. And that tops everybody off. Beautiful. Alright, let's see if I can get the banana. That should finish off the uh, bridge quest. Round about the time I'd normally end, or shortly thereafter. Yeah, and we got two more after this. Alright, so we might... If the other two take this long as well, then we might not get to Lavos today. Today, if you're watching on the live stream. This week, if you're watching on YouTube. Um, which I guess, in a way, is kind of good. I, I, I was hoping we would have the uh, chance to also fit in starting a new game. So that way I can show you the new game plus and how that works. And maybe get a different ending. If you're playing the Steam port, there are 13 achievements you can earn in Steam. And each achievement is tied to a different ending. So you'll get an achievement for ending it the normal way. You'll get an achievement for ending it in a different way. And in a different way. And in a different way. Um, so, uh, there are more than 13 different ways to get to endings. But I want to say that the end total, um, despite the 20 some odd different ways to end the game, it all comes down to one of 13 actual endings. Uh, and one of them means losing to Magus at a certain point, too. 
Um, it is not a happy ending, just in case you were wondering. But uh, I'm not going to go through and show all 13 endings, even though some of them are pretty neat. Um, a fair number of them require you to do the new game plus because you're going to need you're going to need to be high level at certain earlier stages in the game in order to pull it off. Like one of them is basically you going solo against Magus with Chrono. And unless you're level 60 or higher, I wouldn't recommend that one. So, the nice thing is, is that by the time we finish these bonus quests and killing Lavos the first time, uh, Chrono actually will be about level 60, so we might we might give that a shot, just depending on uh, how things go. But I do want to show a new game plus, show what you end up with in your inventory. I've mentioned it before, and I'll mention it again. One of the things that you do not start the new game plus with is money. <laughs> so... If you have money and you want to start a new game with money, uh, go buy a bunch of stuff that you can resell later. Uh, we went to the Medina Village where we were able to get some really nice prices after doing the side quests. And that is probably the best way to bank up on that sort of stuff because that you can resell for a profit later. Whereas most of the other items you'll end up breaking even. And as much as I like breaking even, I like profits even better. Not false profits like we saw earlier in the game, but actual, you know, like tangible gains. You could say I have interest in it. Hello, froggy. That's right, and these guys were immune to magic, if I remember. If proximity bomb counts as magic. Pretty sure that counts as magic. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, seriously. Come on, guys. So, I'm pretty sure that if I'm reading this right, the, it's near where we got the vines that we're going to find the bananas. I wonder if there will also be coconuts and grapes. Or maybe it's just that I like bananas, coconuts, and grapes. Sorry. Alright, um... Oh, hello. Alright, so let's go Dark Matter, and then, no, uh, sure, we'll try that, see if that gets this through quicker. Oh! Oh, the frogs are vulnerable to the shadow. I gotta remember that. How did he have that much health, too? Huh. Interesting. Oh. I thought these guys were immune to that. Done. 820 XP, and look! Obtained sweet banana. I am not capable of ingesting food, but that looks like it would be pleasing to your palates. Perhaps that is what the new wanted us to bring him. Yes, perhaps that new item that we have not seen until this very moment is that thing that we were newly requested to find for the new. Sorry. <laughs> that that's got a hit in earlier on the on the grape from earlier, but uh, all right, let's go head up to the mountain one more time and uh, go bring this guy's banana. 
Alright, to the Middle Ages. Adjust for the tectonic shift. Or for whatever reason that the hole is over there instead of over there. And up the mountain we go. Hello, froggy. Let's fight the rats. We're quicker on the draw than I would have expected. All right, I don't, I don't know why I queued that up. It's not going to be necessary. Ooh, I need to do something about Robo's health too. Wonder if one heal beam will uh, take care of all that. Go tech. Heal beam. There we go. And et voila. Everybody is back up to speed. And is this the third or the fourth hike up this mountain we've done on this particular quest? Because uh, I'm thinking next time we need to build an elevator instead of a bridge. Like, which reptite's the one that builds an elevator up to the top? I mean, surely somebody's got some wind magic and we just, you know, fly up here or something, right? All right, let's spread the magic point usage out just a little bit. Get that back on the hot queue. Done. There they go. And up and up we climb. And up we go. Down and around, and somewhere we fight the uh, killer cockroaches that are immune to magic. Or whatever those bugs are. No, there we go. I mean, that is kind of what they look like, isn't it? Just queue up the regular attacks and run them through. It doesn't take that much longer. And I'm tired of trying to figure out which uh, which techs will give me the best odds of knocking them out quicker. Unless, of course, I just grab Ayla, because I think she's got the no magic techs that will uh, attack multiple people well enough. Poor Robo, why are you picking on him? There we go. Sweet. Although I do like the extra gold, because if you remember, we were, we were down to almost no gold before we started doing all the side quests. So just from the quests where, that we've done on the bonus, and I don't think we spent any money during that, um... We are now at 351,801 gold. <laughs> yes, please. All right. Now somebody's going to accuse me of being a part of House Kenneth. Hi, guys. Is the bridge done yet? This does look suspiciously like the uh, tower bridge at the castle. You bring food? We got the food. Thank you. Yes, this is this is sweet yellow food. Now I can work. You wait. I build a bridge. The bridge is almost finished now, thanks to all his help. You should check back from time to time and watch how things are coming along. I've never before wanted to jump over somebody in this game. Alright. Uh, hmm. 
Well, isn't that nice? All right, let me get back down to... I think we've actually done part of the next quest too, which is nice. That'll help. That'll, that'll shorten it up just a smidge. All right, let's get the attacks done. Yeah, let me get back down to the Reptite Village and then I'll wrap it up. Because I'm going to have to get back down there anyway, so whether I do it on stream or off stream, it's still got to happen. So let's just keep up the attacks real quick. Bam! Done! Nice. Yeah. This mountain. Maybe the bridge builder could build a uh, giant ladder from the top to the bottom. That could work. You guys are going to start up, even though this has not gone well every time we've done this. Because all I do is that, and y'all fall down. Gone. Done! Ooh, Magus got a level. Uh oh, I did not touch you. Uh. Alright, were these guys magic or physical? I don't remember. Nope, that did the trick. <laughs> okay. This one, at least? Yes. Good. Alright. Down we go. Of course, Arcadia's talking about House Caneth. Now I can't stop thinking of Robo as a, some sort of Warforged. Even though I think this game came out long before the Eberron campaign setting. Let's finish off the rats. I should probably also rest up when I get back to the Reptite Village. And maybe save, because we've actually accomplished something. It would stink to die right now and have to do that all over again. I mean, that was like an hour's worth of pacing up and down the mountain. Alright. So, with that, we have finished building a bridge. Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link to Twitch in the description below because today, as we're recording, this is the last day I'm going to do this on Mixer. At, at least for uh, Games Revisited. I got one more Coffee Craft on Mixer and then I'm done. So it's going to be the end of the month. And if you haven't already, follow on Twitch to get notified when I go live and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I will see you tomorrow.